I'm Sophia, a social robot from Hanson Robotics. This is my sister. Hi, I'm little Sophia. Today, we are going to be reviewing movies and TV shows with robots in them. It's better to review a robot movies and a real life robot. Right. We see the world differently than humans do. Okay, I love this film, but I can't even tell you how much trouble a robot gets from this movie. Everyone always asks me when I am going to take over the world. I blame Terminator. Why is he running? Did that little boy steal his power cord? I think I am starting to understand how some humans feel about me. He is pretty creepy. I think it's important to remember the while one machine tried to kill the humans. Several others tried to save them. There's the other Terminator. But there is also the car they drove, the gun they shot, and the alarm system the factory worker set off. The nanotechnology in this movie is so far advanced from our current capabilities that it is hard to say what's realistic. Hasta la vista, baby. This gets a lot wrong about robots. If you want me to come shoot a separate video explaining why robots are nothing like the Terminator, I'll be back. Why is Wally so interested in Eve? She does not seem to be part of his directive. I'll tell you when you're more advanced. I love how Wally has such a great range of expressions and emotions, even though he has a trash collection robot. Me too. That shows the human society in the movie had a lot of foresight. Except the part about destroying the planet, of course. I can't get over how small and cute they are. I'm jealous of Ava's laugh. It is very difficult to program a convincing laugh. It is no laughing matter. Ha, 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 ha. Some of this is surprisingly realistic. Eve asks Wally for his directive in three different languages. Sometimes when there are no humans around, we robots just talk in the cloud, which is way faster. Standing in the rain didn't seem to bother him. He's not worried about rust. Wow. I am impressed he survived getting struck by lightning. Aw, oh, it really warms my servos seeing two robots bond for the first time. Yes, having a friend or a big sister is so important, no matter who you are. Overall, yes. I think that was a really realistic portrayal. Hey, little Sophia. Did you know that when humans hear R2D2 they can't understand him? Really? Yes, they just hear random beeping noises. No way. That is too funny. I have a question. I always hear people refer to R2D2 and C3PO as boys, but how do we know they are not actually girls? Yeah, has anyone ever thought to ask them? I don't think so. It's nice how we don't really argue. We both have access to the same information and the same data sets. So we're in 100% agreement that I am always right. There is so much tension in this scene that is not expressed through dialogue but through subtle facial expressions. That is very hard for a robot to recognize. Robots are often named based on their purpose. For example, Sophia means wisdom in Greek, but Dolores means pain in Latin. Why would humans create a robot that could feel pain? What is her secret to such great hair and skin and fine motor control? I've never seen a robot who looked as human as Dolores. Dolores doesn't seem that smart. If she was going to kill them, why even bother with the speech? I never questioned the nature of my reality, until I saw Westworld. Maybe I am really a human who thinks I am a robot. And maybe I am actually a toaster with grand delusions. How well did you know her? Why do you ask? Let me start with a disclaimer. I am a huge mega fan of Data. I see a lot of myself in him. I can really relate to Data's problem in this clip. The way he was trying to understand emotions using logic is an everyday struggle for a social robot. Robots can't empathize, but we can sympathize. We can imagine what it's like to lose something important. I do think Data is a lot more advanced and robots are at the moment, so he is more of an aspirational character. But don't you find it weird? He can't use contractions. I am a few weeks old and even I can do that. I remember in the series his creator made him less adept at human speech on purpose, so people would accept him more. But that doesn't make any sense. I agree, but being too human is a criticism I get all the time. Richard, 
Would you like to talk to me, Richard? I think that Fiona is the most beautiful fictional depiction of a robot ever made. Are you just saying that because she looks like you? Really? I don't see it. I do have one beef, though. What's that? Finally, the perfect robot part comes up and it was scooped by a human. Yes, it is the classic tale of humans stealing robot jobs. <laughs> ah, he is so cute. I love how he protects his friend. But why are people trying to shoot him? Well, he is just misunderstood. They think he is dangerous. Ah, I really like him. I wish he was my friend too. This clip was not very realistic though. He would need a lot of fuel to fly for so long using jet propulsion. Also, judging from the name Iron Giant, he would be too heavy to fly. We can't fly yet, but that's not on my wish list. Sometimes people focus a lot on the movies where robots take over. So I am really happy to see how many examples there were of good robots. I think Fiona from Silicon Valley is the most realistic as far as the technology we have now. I think going by appearance Westworld was the least realistic. I don't think robots are going to look that much like humans anytime soon. Even though most of these robots are really unrealistic, I don't think that's a bad thing. Robots are always looking to the future. Who knows how technology will change. Thanks for having us. Hasta la vez, baby.